Hello, this is Kyle here at Maple Ridge Volkswagen, actually down at one of our holding lots for your video of the 2016 Mazda CX-5. Uh, this is their GT trim, so there's a couple things that you'll notice, the upgraded rims, the upgraded uh, front grille, as well as a couple things on the inside that are add-ons for this guy. Uh, I go around the vehicle once just to show you the overall condition, um, obviously in their white. I believe this is a specific pearl white for them. Um, you do have, like I said, that updated grill for the facelifted year as well as their upgraded headlights as well. Um, those are different than some of the lower models that you would see. Um, a couple of small, small, small things on the body, nothing too, too crazy and stuff that can be either attempted to polish or with the right deal touched up. Um, in the back here you have a whole bunch of space, as much as any other SUV would be, so you can see. Everything is in very, very, very good shape. Um, it did have a fresh detail on it as well. Um, going to the back seats now, you do get obviously leather interior. And you can see there's not any big divots or anything like that in the leather um, as car seats may leave or anything like that. I know that's something that people are worried about. Uh, moving to the front of the vehicle now, you do have the keyless entry. So that's that guy there that would lock and unlock and toggle back and forth. A full power seat and again more leather in good shape uh, the nice thing about Mazda in this generation and I actually sold this generation for them is the introduction of their palm selectors to control the screen here so I'm doing everything down here just with my hand you can go back and forth between all of their different settings there um, different navigation and all that as well so you can see it's got the full nav system uh, and all of your different Bluetooth settings and all that through here. So you can choose through a bunch of their different options to go down even to Bluetooth. Uh, heated seats, obviously, of course, and you do have the dual zone climate control. So you control your fan here and then you control your specific temperatures. So the one is 19 and the other one is 15. When you go all the way down to low, they're both there because it is quite a hot day today. You do have their naturally aspirated 2.5 liter in this guy. So it pulls quite nice, but still has enough for good fuel economy. Like I said, I sold them in this generation and they did very, 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 very well for us. Um, dedicated sport mode changes your gearing and all that stuff as well. You do have blind spot over on this side. And then of course, like I said, very low kilometers on my ad, just over 36,000. And you have regular cruise control and then your controls for the Bluetooth and answering phone calls all on your screen there. If there's any other questions or specifically anything that I missed here, oh, and as well as the sunroof, <laughs> if there's any other questions or anything I missed, please let me know, or if there's a specific option you were hoping to get as well, let me know, and I can run down here and check for you. Other than that, I hope to see you soon, and we'll talk to you soon.